Today we're here at Heart Gym located at 101 West Rodney French Boulevard with one of New England's most beloved boxers, Ray Super Oliveira. Honestly, I didn't even want to get into boxing. <laughs> I wanted to play football, uh, but I kept breaking my own mom. So my mother was like, get done playing football. Try something different. My father suggested boxing. I said, hell no. But of course, they made me do something that now that I enjoy. After 47 professional wins, Ray retired from the ring in 2005. Ray's final professional career record stands at 47 wins, 11 losses, 2 draws, and 22 knockouts with 5 championship wins. I won the New England Championship. This one here was the, was the IBF Intercontinental. I won this one, this is um, NABF. That one again, I lost it. Then I reclaimed it a year later again. Then after that, I fought for the IBU world title, and I won that one. Ray also holds a record for throwing 3,020 punches in a match and 1,424 exchange blows in a single round. Ray has now dedicated his life to train the next generation of up-and-coming boxers. We also sat down with up-and-coming professional boxer Kevin Cobbs and asked him, what is it like training with Ray Oliveira? He's an animal. <laughs> he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't stop. He comes forward all the time. He even knows how to talk you down <laughs> in the ring. He, knows how to, he even knows how to motivate you in the ring. You know, he'll tell you when you need to throw more punches. You know, your jab's not working. He'll jump on you and he'll make you work. We also asked Ray Oliveira throughout his professional career if he had any regrets, and this is what he had to say. One of my kids one time asked me, he said, um, hey, coach, if you could change anything, would, would you? I said, no. He said, but wasn't you supposed to fight Oscar De La Hoya and make a million dollars? He said, yeah. Wouldn't you want that fight? I said, honestly, no. And he said, why? I said, because if I made that million, million dollars, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have used kids. I'll be in, I'll be in Las Vegas with a million dollars somewhere else, and I wouldn't have used kids who are my million dollars. Even during his professional career, Ray always felt that teaching came natural to him. So while sparring with younger boxers, Ray would always let them know what they were doing wrong and how to improve it as the sparring session went on.